Up first this evening, at least 13 people are dead, including five members of a Jamaican family, victims of a fire which broke out on Thursday night in an apartment building in the Bronx, New York City. The dead have been identified as 37-year-old Karen Francis, her two children, 2-year-old Kyle Francis and 7-year-old Kalisha Francis. Ms. Fra Mrs. Francis's 19-year-old niece, Shante Young, was also killed. Now, initially, the fire department of New York said 12 persons died in the fire. Four others were abandoned. Injured. But this afternoon, members of the family told TVJ News that another Jamaican, Holt Francis, who was badly burnt, died in hospital. The New York mayor is calling this the worst fire tragedy in the city in at least a quarter century. We begin our coverage with this report on how the blaze started. The fire started at the hands of a three-year-old child playing with a stove. His family got out. The mother was not aware of it, was alerted by the young man screaming. She exited her apartment with these, uh, her two-year-old and three-year-old and left the door open. That open door gave the fire room to spread. With flames raging, people who died had little to no warning, no time. Four members of the same family were trapped trying to escape their fifth floor apartment. My family is gone. This tragic fire is being called the worst the city has seen in many years. And Quimbena Mensa's 28-year-old son, Emmanuel, is one of the 12 people who died here. But he's being called a hero. PIX11 has learned the serviceman was home for the holiday when the fire started. And Emmanuel's father says that's when he went to work trying to save lives. They were telling me he was rescuing people out from the fire. That's, I think that's what caused him because he doesn't live in the apartment when they find him. He lives on 11th floor. Uh, 11, room 11, but just find him on 50, 15 room, room 15. So that's what made me believe that he was trying to, and that's his nature. That's that's how that's how he is. The fire broke out just before 7 Thursday night on Prospect Avenue near East 187th Street in the Bronx. It took firefighters three minutes to arrive, and immediately they went on the attack, knocking out flames, pulling people out one by one. But so much damage had been done. I can't even believe and the man was on the ground. <laughs> he was trying to survive him. Oh my God, this is the worst fire. The grief here is being felt by everyone from the middle of the night in the freezing cold to the next day as lessons from this tragedy are sinking in. If unfortunately you do have a fire in your apartment, you must close the door when you exit because the results, if you don't, are what happened here last night. 